Okay, Bolo Buddies, I decided to go to the Goodwill today and they just loaded up the plush bin. Wait until you see what I find. And I'm guessing you guys are going to be all screaming at me by the end of the video. And you'll see why. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller all right let's get started okay so something i never buy is furniture but these orange chairs and this crazy looking couch i just had to record okay so the plush bin was loaded up i don't know who she is she is super cute i tried to look for a tush tag i had no luck does anybody know who she is I think she might have been a little dirty, but I think she would have cleaned up. There was so much plush. So much plush. Um, is that your? I think. And that was a Walt Disney. And then you see Minnie Mouse. She's peeking out. There was some good plush. And you can see she has the circle on the bottom of her foot that I tell you guys to look for. And wait until the end of the video what I tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you can see there the price. I tried to show you guys the prices because this Goodwill prices all their plush at different prices. And that little elephant was kind of cute. Um, this is an LOL plush. Um, Laugh Out Loud dolls. Um, they have animals and they're usually like plastic toy figures. But that was an LOL plush, but it wasn't in great condition. This guy is awesome. Um, it's a Dave and Buster's. I think, is that a bulldog or a pit bull? What is that, you guys? Tell me in the comments. Um, and it's the Toy Factory. I did look up comparables on that, and they were decent. So um, the next item is this little Paddington bear. Uh, I believe that one was a Kohl's Cares. It probably would have been a decent bread and butter, not big money or anything like that, but just somebody who wanted a Paddington Bear plush. Um, I'm not sure what this brand is. I'm afraid I may have missed something on this because it was really, really cute. Um, and it had the bottom of the feet just were, I don't know, it just looked interesting. I should have probably took the time to look that one up. There was some big plush in here also. Um... I don't know. That was a little reindeer. That probably would have done okay around Christmas. And I just was in one of those moods today. And I tell you at the end what I mean. This one I need to look up. Um, there was a lady right beside me and she was just talking to me the whole time I was digging through the plush. She didn't know I was recording. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, I was chatting with her. So I am doing a voiceover, plus they always play the music so loud at the Goodwill. Um, this little guy's a big zebra, and it was a Toys R Us. So they had that one priced, I think, at $14.99, so definitely not something I would pay that much for. I mean, I guess I should have looked it up. Maybe I'm wrong. It could be a big money bolo, and I just don't know it. So if you guys look it up, and it is, let me know in the comments. But they had just filled this bin. Usually when I come in, the plush uh, bin is pretty empty. So there were some TY um, plush. I couldn't read that one. Um, trying to hold the phone and look at things. Um, I'm thinking uh, this, is that Madeline? Or I'm not sure what her name is. I feel like I've either sold her before or uh, comped her out. 
but um, if that LOL plush would have been in better condition, I definitely um, probably would have grabbed that. That one's a TY. There's a troll. So again, prices are kind of just all over the place, anywhere from 99 cents up to $14.99, I believe is what I saw. Um, there, this is a build a bear and it said, um, oh, I cannot remember something. Oh goodness. I can't remember, but I did look it up. Comps were decent. Um, it probably would have been, I could have made some money for sure. Uh, there was a lot of things that I probably could have made some money on. Like I said, you guys are going to probably be screaming at me by the end of the video. Uh, this little green, uh, guy, I think he's a part of the Paddington. These mugs were adorable. Um, and there were two of them and one said, I love my mom and one said, I love my dad. And they were only 59 cents each probably should have got them. And this little mug, I, I don't know about that one, but this one I think would have done fantastic on posh. It says, does this ring make me look engaged? And I could totally see that selling on posh. It just seems like a posh item. Not sure what that is, but it had a really cool rubber bottom. So kind of like a coaster, a built built on coaster. So pretty neat. I always check out this section of the Goodwill. Um, you can see the the shelves are pretty bare today, um, which is kind of okay because I really, really wasn't in the mood to source, but I also wasn't in the mood to list. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to go out and see if I can find anything that really like speaks to me. But um, yeah, I just it didn't didn't equate to much. So these are I believe that that's Avon and they were new old stock. So probably could have picked those up and re resold them. But I passed. I passed. <gasps> oh my goodness. You guys, what do you think? Would you have bought the Avon uh, face creams? I used to sell Avon and you know, they it was kind of expensive. Um, okay, so this is a border for like a kid's room and it's Noah's Ark. It was pretty cute, probably should have picked it up and there were three of them. So I could have lotted them up and sold them together or I could have sold them separately. I think they were $1.99 each if I remember correctly. I thought those were like chapsticks, but I think they were glue stick. I checked this because I wasn't sure if it was vintage, but it had a barcode on the back. So I passed on that. Um... Let's see what else. Oh, the dolls. I always look at the dolls because this one time I was at the Goodwill and I looked up and there was this beautiful doll and I think I ended up selling her for like $200. This, I always check out these types of things that are in the bag, but a lot of them were dirty. So I decided to pass. It was the whole bag for $9.99. But again, it was dirty. I would have had to take the time to clean it and nope, not in the mood. <laughs> I hate cleaning toys. All right, let's see what else here. Uh, that, I'm not sure what that was. Again, more little blocks. I checked this. It was a Lego case. I was hoping it was going to be stuffed with Legos. I always check the games. So the plush was looking pretty good. I probably should have got those mugs. Let me know what you guys would have bought if you were on this Goodwill shopping spree with me. What would you have picked up? Put it down in the comments. I'm checking the puzzles right here. I will pick up sealed puzzles. I typically do not pick them up if they are not sealed. It's just too much work and too much time. Okay, Bola Buddies. It was one of those days where I went sourcing, but I really wasn't in the mood to source. So I walked out with nothing. I told you, you were going to be screaming at me. So which items would you have picked up? And tell me why in the comments. Scream at me, guys. Scream at me at the comments because I know I passed up on some good stuff. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.